I want to thank everybody for your prayers and for your support. Your prayers are incredibly powerful. And this is a time where praying for each other is the best way to show love and support for each other. I'm going to encourage everyone to abandon the debate completely, to abandon the interest in the world and to return to your first love, to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ alone. The Lord Jesus is doing miracles at this time, miracles for health, miracles for restoration, and miracles of bringing prodigals back. Our time is best spent in intercession and in sharing the gospel. And to stay away from the focusing too much on which day the rapture will happen and staying away from any kind of debate, as I said, and any kind of discussion that is not focused on bringing light to the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. Now, I've been very busy, mostly with responsibilities to my life and work, but I am working towards an update to the calendar, which I've said earlier is truly incredible. It will take some time, so it is possible that I'll be able to post that over the weekend. But in the meantime, I'm also very pleased with the Zoom call that we had, which was short but productive. And so we're going to repeat that most likely either tomorrow or sometimes over the weekend. I'm going to encourage you guys to stay patient. I do my absolute best to carry on with my life responsibilities, as well as the most important thing, which is the work I do for the Lord. And this is work that he allows me to do and he does through me. I take no merit in this and this is not my doing it is strictly out of obedience and all the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua Amashiach. In the meantime, the Holy Spirit is continuously teaching and showing amazing revelations. And so I do my effort here to show you those while we wait for these larger projects because they all contribute as a, as a piece of the puzzle. Now, I want to remind you one more time. We do not know the day and the hour. And while the Lord is showing us an incredible amount of detail, which is leading us to see very detailed periods of time, we will never know the day and the hour. And let me remind you that when Abraham took Isaac up the mount, the Lord did not stop him by the time he got on the mountain. He did not stop him after he strapped his own son onto the pile of wood. And he did not stop him after he raised his hand. He stopped him right at the moment before he was about to plunge the knife into his son's heart. And that was a decision that Abraham had done and he was fulfilling it and moving forward with it. What I mean by that is his faith was tested until the absolute last second where it did not look like he would get away with not sacrificing his son. So it's very likely that he will be with the rapture. It is going to be a test of faith, just like anything else as we know from Hebrews 11.6. Now, I received another incredible message, which I'm sharing with you. The message I received on 3-21-2023 at 10.39 p.m. First, I see a vision of a Jewish man with a head covered, blowing a trumpet. Write, son, that I come quickly. I am at the door and knock, and whosoever will open, I will enter in and sup with them. But woe to the world, for they have rejected the Son of Man. In his glory with angel he cometh. Write, son, that I love you. You are precious to me. Tempus fugit. In parenthesis, when is the day, Lord? I ask. The day appointed is written in the book April 23rd 1974 a day of accomplishment follow the star sun for I have shown you the path 
the man of lawlessness is soon to be revealed. Retire now, son. Much work lies ahead. I love you, son. Lord Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. So immediately after this, I took some notes and I did a quick study, which I'm sharing with you. First of all, the Lord gave me Matthew eleven sixteen. 16. Matthew eleven sixteen 16 talks about the generation which sits in the markets and simply does not understand. The Lord seems to be telling us that there's a lot of lack of understanding. Now let me remind you in the parable of the seeds. The Lord says that those whose seed was falling on soil, good soil, they had an understanding. And so we know also from Peter's denial that understanding is critical. And we gain understanding through returning to the Word of God and asking the Holy Spirit to teach us. You have to spend time in the Word of God. You have to spend time reading, studying, and asking the Holy Spirit to teach you. And that has to be every day and possibly multiple times a day. The next piece of information comes from the Latin word the Lord gave me, tempus fugit, which means time runs away. But it really comes from a work by Virgil, a Latin author, Roman author, which wrote in the year 29 BC a piece called Georgica or Agriculture. Now, this particular poem has 2188, 2188 verses. When I looked up 2188 in Strong's, it means two things. It means be opened as a command with an exclamation point, but it also means a sweat as a result of an acceleration of a running, running fast or something along those lines. Then I looked up the time of the message, which was 1039. And when I looked it up in Strong's, 1039 means two incredible things. The first one, it means fine linen. And we know what fine linen really means. But the second, even more incredible, is that 1039 means the place of a leopard. The place of a leopard, we now know what that means. And it comes from the vision the Lord gave me back in, on October 2nd, which I posted in Great is the Tribulation and relates to Arari, which is born in 1976, which relates to the temple as we have studied before, as well as Daniel 7, 6, as well as Revelation 7, 6. All of that confirming that he has a great or major role in the upcoming tribulation. But what's even more unbelievable is the Holy Spirit led me back to Genesis 7, 6. And in Genesis 7, 6, we read, And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters were upon the earth. Now, I immediately knew there was a relationship with Noah Arari, but I couldn't understand quite yet what he was. Well, we now know that the year 6000 is going to be on 2027. And this is based on Revelation 20 verses 2 to 7. Well, I still didn't understand the relationship with Noah Arari. So the Holy Spirit led me to see that Arari is going to be 51 in 2027. That's 50 plus one year. One year is 12 months. And so 50 times 12 equals 600. Not only that, but we now know that Noah lived 350 years after the flood. That leads me to see the conclusion that that will represent 3.5 years after the year 6000, which is 2027. 3.5 years lead us to the year 2031, which is when we are led to see the return of the Lord, making those the last three and a half years of the Antichrist system. And the last most incredible piece is the date the Lord gave me in this message. And that date is April 23rd of 1974. Now, of course, I had absolutely no idea what happened on that date. So I went and Googled it, and there's only one event that happened on that day. And the only event that happened on that day is that Russia performed nuclear test at Sari.
Shagan. All of this confirms that we are in the season. And while we do not know the day and the hour, and we need to stop being obsessed with a day and an hour, but continue to watch and pray and understand the context of both dates and times that we are led to see. And instead of packing our bags, focusing on who can we share the gospel with and what can we do for the kingdom of God. The Lord is performing miracles at this time. I'm living proof of that. He has healed me twice in one week. And he has said that as I've shared with you guys. Now, I will be back this weekend with more videos and I will post the times to those that have signed up for the Zoom of when we can meet. And if you want to join, send me an email. The email is in the bio. Go and find it. Send me an email and in the title put Zoom and I'll put you, I'll add you to the list. I hope this message is blessing you and is encouraging you because yes, we're in the season and yes, the Lord is close. But continue to occupy with the work for the kingdom and continue to share love and support with everybody else. In Jesus' name, amen.